Hey, I know this place. Yeah? What is it? That's Rose Blossom, a well-known cabaret club around these parts. So this is where it was. Huh. Yeah, it's been damn near forever since I've been inside of one. I think I'm having withdrawals here. You are aware I work at a cabaret club, right? Yeah, but I know you personally. I'd see right through the facade. If you really think I'd put up a facade just for you, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I wouldn't mind seeing your business facade. I don't know, it'd be cool. But enough about that. We'll come back and check this place out, okay? Yeah? You mean it? Uh, I hate to kill the mood, but I'm broke. You think I'd make you pay after inviting you out? I'm not that rude. Sweet! Kasuga, you're a gentleman and a friend. Yeah, well, count me out. There's no way I'm setting foot in a cabaret club on my day off. It'd be way too awkward if I ran into one of my former girls. If anything, I'll go kill time somewhere while you boys enjoy spending your money. Yeah? Uh, thanks, I guess? Woo! Can't wait. Oh, I wonder what kind of girls they have. Mm. We haven't even gotten in the door yet, Adachi-san. Hey. Hey. Listen. Young master. You were born in a dump much like this one, weren't you? It's been a while, young master. I figured you'd want to see me. I know what you want to ask. Why did I change my name? Why am I a politician? Why did I help destroy the Tojo clan? And, are you curious about my lack of a wheelchair these days? You actually willing to explain any of it? I am. My condition was cured in America. I got a lung transplant. Did you know that if you drop a stack of cash into the right palm over there, you can buy an organ? Incredible. But even with deep pockets, Nothing is simple for the son of a Yakuza boss. That why you changed your name? Yes. I did it because I was born the son of Masumi Arakawa. And because my condition robbed me of the youth everyone else got to have. I was happy to change my name and start a new life separate from all of that. <laughs> and look at the results. I'm not only the governor, but also the chair of the ruling party. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't bring yourself to congratulate me? Not from the heart, no. Are you even happy as a politician? Politics is a good life. Unlike the Yakuza, you don't have to use violence to assert control. I can improve people's lives, and they're grateful to me for it. You think Okasawara's grateful? You killed him. <laughs> oh, that... That was just a sensible precaution. Man, listen to yourself. <laughs> Come on. After you kidnapped him, he ran his mouth about Bleach Japan, did he not? He was never much for discretion. He swore to me that he didn't tell you anything, of course. But I could see the truth in his eyes. That sealed his fate. So... You just kill people over an assumption? Without even bothering to check? I'm checking now. Did he tell you the secrets of Bleach Japan or not? Well, that's... I mean... See? 
Proper risk management is all about mitigating threats before they- But he was your buddy! He helped you start Bleach Japan! Being at the top means you have to know when people are no longer relevant. Like father, like son, right? My father looked after you for years, but when he had to, he cut you from the family. That's not how it went down. He asked me to go to prison to keep the whole Arakawa family safe. You think that's why? Captain Sawashiro killed some guy who reported directly to the Tojo clan. If we had let Sawashiro get arrested, the Arakawa family would have had to own up to it, since they were lower on the ladder. <laughs> oh, Kasuga. Whether you went to prison or not, Sawashiro wasn't going to be arrested. You don't know that. Oh, but I do. Because Sawashiro didn't kill that guy in the first place. What? As I recall, that night was the last time I saw you. Yeah, that club in Kamurucha we went to. On New Year's Eve. Yeah, it was your girlfriend's birthday. Right. I've certainly had better nights. What? Young Master? How long have you been there? Um... Young Master? So... Did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Go, honey. I'm sure he's just drunk. Is he sick? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Sleep here, you fucking drunk. Come on, move your ass. Uh, fuck off, man. This building's my family's property. So clear out. Go on, go. You're Yakuza. That means you're garbage. The fuck you say? Don't touch me! You're a power you turf now, fool! In this town, let me go! Fear the Yakuza! I don't know what backwoods village you might be from, but you're about to learn about Kamurocho the hard way, motherfucker! <laughs> you think you're hot shit because you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go on. 
do it! Come on! Fucking do it if you've got the balls! Can't do it, huh? That what the girls say about you too? Little bitch like you ought to know better. Now, you're dead! <laughs> Do it if you're gonna! <laughs> Sawashiro! I... I fucked up. I killed the guy. <laughs> the one who killed Suzumori? Yes. I told Sawashiro what I did, then went home. Lucky for me, there were no witnesses. So I didn't go in Sawashiro's place. I went in your place. <laughs> That's right. Dad sold you to the law to protect his only son. <sighs> Obviously, he couldn't just tell you how it really happened. That's why he lied that you were taking the fall for Sawashiro. You swallowed the bait whole, and happily marched yourself to the station. So tell me, do you still trust the old asshole? <clears throat> I can only imagine how you must feel. Doing 18 years of hard time would have been bad enough. But then there was the other event. After giving him such a huge portion of your life, you finally see him and... Bang. Right? <clears throat> Must feel horrible even now. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Well, say something, Ichi. It doesn't matter what you say. I trust Arakawa-san. Then answer one question for me. Why are you in Ichincho? Couldn't tell you. Maybe because I'm Ichi Bad Kasuga. The guy who hits rock bottom but always crawls back up. I see. Even after all these years, somehow you've managed to stay just as dumb. It's kind of touching. Nostalgic, even. I can't even bring myself to be mad. What an honor. You know, I thought this meeting was going to be a setup. But you came alone, like you promised. So I guess I'm touched too. What? You thought I'd have you killed? No. There's no sense in squishing an ant. I'll let you live. We do go way back, after all. But I do have one condition. Don't ever come near me or Dad again. Understand? Well, I've got my own condition. Pull out of Ichin Show and get Kume to end his campaign. <laughs> Pardon? I may not be cut out for politics, but Kume sure as hell ain't either. Actually, the Citizens Liberal Party agrees with you. Kume is ignorant and inexperienced. If he didn't have our support, He'd lose for sure. Then why are you having him run? <laughs> so everyone can see my value. Uh, what? Think about it. If Kume wins, how will the Citizens Liberal Party react? They'd realize that an endorsement from Rio Aoki can turn entire elections. 
even in favor of a simpleton. It will be crystal clear that I have the skill and influence to replace Ogikubo. They'll watch and learn. So, Kume's just a tool to you. An election is nothing more than a game of strategy. Are these Ijinjo revitalization shelters part of your game too? Oh, those. <laughs> those are the most useful tools of all. With them, I can round up all the illegal residents at once. Wait, what? I thought the shelters were helping people get visas. <laughs> Don't be absurd. The people going to them would never qualify for visas. The shelters will bus them to the Immigration Bureau, where they'll be deported. For real? You're lying to them right to their faces? I'm not lying. The shelter's purpose is there in its name. It's revitalizing Ijincho by cleansing it of criminals. Just give me an answer. Are you going to accept my conditions or not? Absolutely not. Well... Then I guess there's no chance of us finding common ground. Did you actually think I'd come here tonight because I wanted to negotiate? Remember what I said earlier. The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. What the hell is this? I thought the young master said he would come alone. That makes you a fool for believing him when he said it. And for rejecting his offer. Guess I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. I tend to take people at their word. Alone means alone. This way, Ichiban! <laughs> Go! Hey! <laughs> Guys, why are you here? Just get out of the damn way! What the fuck? Let's go! I told you it was a trap. Listen to me next time. Just the infill missed a few grounders. Time to call up the reserves. Let's give Captain Sawashiro a show. Break through him! Right. You're gonna be sorry. Well. I can not get caught. Take this. Take this. You sure you want to get hurt? Cool. Take your back. Uh -huh. 
Watch me. I'm up! Eyes on me. We yes. I'm getting stronger! <laughs> 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 Isn't this all a little much just to take me out? Come on! Maybe it is. But then again, you did survive being shot. So taking precautions makes sense. So this here's the guy who took a bullet from the cap. Thought you'd have some meat on ya. But you're kind of scrawny, ain't ya? <laughs> Don't get cocky. Make sure he dies here. In that case, how about we draw and quarter him? <laughs> No way he pulls out of that one, eh? <laughs> Do what you must. <laughs> Ever seen a tuna carving? Get ready for the human version. When I'm done, I'll put his head in a box and ship it to you tomorrow. Just do it right. You leaving? Scared? No. I just don't want any of your blood on my suit. So you're still the type to leave all the dirty work to your peons. Guess after all these years, you didn't learn shit from Arakawa-san. You never shut up about the boss. I've always hated that. Let him say what he wants, boss. <laughs> Poor little shit only has a couple of minutes to live. No, that's enough talk. Kill him already. Let's start the dissection! This'll be good practice. Well... I got Let's go! Feeling better already? 
wouldn't underestimate <laughs> Take your best shot! Watch me. Let's go. You want to go?
Weren't you saying you were gonna put my head in a box and ship it to the captain? I'm sure he'll be surprised to see your head in there then. That guy was really gross. Are all Omi Alliance dudes like that? They're the biggest Yakuza group in the country. I'm sure they have even crazier guys. And that's what's flooding into Ijincho? Great! Ichiban! Hamako-san? Is something wrong? I was just at the shelter. The shelter? I was taking something to one of the girls. She forgot it at my place. But... But they were all gone. None of the staff would tell me where they went. I don't know what's going on. Calm down, Hamako-san. Please, help me find them. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. But they aren't in Japan anymore. What? The shelter was just a trap for mass deportations. No! Those girls, they don't have anyone to help them in the countries they came from. That's why they came to a Jincho in the first place. I just want to... I just want us to give them a chance. How did this happen? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hamako-san. If only I hadn't told them to go to the shelter. If only I'd realized sooner. It's not your fault. You did what you thought was best for them. He's right. Don't blame yourself. You were on their side until the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> God damn it. I told Hamako-san to get some rest. Thanks, Sachan. Eijin Cho just keeps taking hit after hit. Remember what Jungi Han said? That we should basically get out of here while we can? Maybe we should consider that. For real. You wanna run? I mean, isn't the situation kinda hopeless at this point? Hopeless, huh? Well, you got a place we can all go? Oh, not off the top of my head, no. How about you, Adachi-san? Nope. I don't even have family to stay with. My parents died a long time ago. Psycho? I mean, I could leave, but I would never abandon my sister or my father like that. Sounds like we've settled that, then. Settled what? That none of us can run away from this. We're in the same boat as the Komi Jewel and the Liuma. So our only option is to fight, with or without hope. And personally, I say there is hope. How? How is there a chance of winning? It doesn't matter. A long time ago, Arakawa-san told me something. If you go into a fight thinking you got a chance to win, you're just being a bully. Uh, what the hell? Not gonna lie, that sounds kinda stupid. Hell no. A real fight's when you go up against someone so strong, you got no chance. Our enemies are the Omi Alliance and the Citizens Liberal Party. The crime lords from below are teaming up with the law from above. And I say bring it on. We're going up against all of Japan, basically. Too much for you, Adachi-san? Going soft on me? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I couldn't ask for a better fight. Let's do it. But can we include Tokyo PD in that law part so I can kick their asses too? Hell yeah! Put them on the list! Good enough for me! You guys are ridiculous. <laughs>
You know that, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. But... Admit it, you like that about us. Yeah... What is my damage? Nanba! Sachan! Join us, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip the pep talk. <laughs> That's why I keep you guys around. You sure, Namba? Your brother's okay now, and he's getting married. What skin do you have in the game? Yeah, I know I've been a butt. But if my friends are gonna fight, so will I. I'm all in now. Besides, it'll make for a great speech at my brother's wedding. That settles it. Let's knock them on their asses.